name is Miriam Goldstein. I am a graduate student at Scripps Institution of Oceanography, and I am chief scientist for the Seaplex expedition. So we have are just completing our first uh, intensive sampling station in the in a high plastic area in the North Pacific Gyre. So we've been sampling now for almost 24 hours and have uh, done repeated tows for our, uh, the surface of the water, uh, the first 100 meters for plankton, for fish, and water samples for phytoplankton, pollutants, and bacteria. I was pretty surprised at how easy it was to find plastic in the surface tows. Um, the descriptions from the Agalita Marine Research Foundation and uh, Captain Charles Moore were absolutely correct. Uh, it's really easy to find this sort of tiny plastic confetti just floating in the surface out here. And you can't see it at all with your eyes, even if you're looking and you know what to look for. Um, but when you do a manta toe, which is the surface toe over the surface of the water, then it just comes up with just really a lot of plastic. It's pretty shocking. Well, the time that we're out here, we're trying to look at the worst case scenario. Um, so we are deliberately targeting the, high pla the highest plastic areas that we can identify, and we're going to do the intensive sampling, the first of which we just finished, on these high plastic areas. And the idea is to see how much plastic there is, where it is, what kind it is, and uh, what animals are associating it with it. Uh, we didn't really know what we'd be looking for when we got out here, which was part of the hard part of planning this cruise. Uh, we weren't sure how much would be visible, and frankly, we still aren't sure um, ex like, oh, how, what, is the, what, the, what different things may look like over the whole North Pacific Gyre. But right now, we, are tar we decided to target these sort of small plastic confetti small particles for this first station. And who knows, later on we might see things that are more visible to the naked eye. We're not really sure. Oh, the eight day update. I think everything's going great. The team is coming together. Um, people are have more of a sense of how to perform the uh, deployments and recoveries very smoothly. Um, and we also have people getting tired because it's hard to be on all the time. But I think things are going really well so far. I mean, all of us are sort of struggling with feelings, whether we're like, we're happy we found our high plastic area, because that's what we were looking for, but it's also really disturbing to see. I mean, we all love, are here because we love the ocean, and we don't like seeing it filled with all the plastic that we've been bringing up in our nets. But it's been, uh, it's been also mixed with some cool bonuses. We were catching some really great squid. Um, we caught a, what we think might be a colossal squid, we're not sure which was dead, but, and Pete, our fish guy, has been bringing up some great deep sea fish and squid in his net, so there are, we do have some moments of lots of fun.